All right, guys, so for the next one, <clears throat> when it comes to the Bulgarian split squat or the rear foot elevated split squat, what you want to make sure you're doing, a couch works perfect, is just like you would on the reverse lunge form, make sure you're coming down, letting that knee come in line with the toe, but not too much farther past it. You also want to keep your arms out in front, or you can stabilize through your shoulders here to make sure you're keeping that upright position through your torso. And also keep that weight through your front heel, but keep that full foot planted. So this is a great exercise, like I said, if you have tight hips. If you're feeling this a little too much in your hips, don't be afraid. Just kind of go slow. So let that hip stretch out. And if you need to, you can always put your foot out further to get a little bit more of a stretch. Or you can always bring your foot back a little bit further. It's going to all depend on your anatomy, how long your legs are, and that sort of thing. So this is one, like I said, that you can do at home. That's a great exercise for the legs that also promotes unilateral strength which means each side's working independent of one another. Bulgarian split.